Hello and welcome to Tony Manso Forex. In this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your own expert advisor. Uh, of course you need to be able to program in the MetaQuotes language before you can start writing expert advisors but uh, if you're one of those people who knows uh, MQL um, I'll show you right away in just a few s in just a few seconds you can have an EA up and running so first you open up your editor which like I have here go into your experts folder and you'll see here TMF sample blank template so if I right click on that guy and say open folder okay let me move that up here uh, so here's my TMF sample now I'm going to right click on that and copy and then I'll click on a blank space like say here I don't know let's say click here and say paste and now you'll see I have a TMF sample blank template copy next thing I'm gonna do is rename that guy to whatever you wanna call it I'm gonna call it my first TMF EA okay and then I'll close this Explorer window and I should have in here my first TMF EA I'm gonna open that guy up and you're gonna notice all this stuff it includes this TMF basic EA uh, Tony Manso.mqh it defines a couple of uh, a couple of uh, very um, macros and then here there's a function called find entry signal and basically all this guy does is it returns buy signal if it's time to buy right so you would say signal equals if it's time to buy right or uh, signal equals sell signal if it's time to sell so let's look at uh, let's see let's use moving average we're gonna say if the price is above the moving average we'll buy okay and if the price is below the moving average we'll sell so let's say if let's do this we're gonna say double um, MA equals IMA symbol time frame um, period wait time frame and period oh period is the number of this the sampling period okay um, I don't know let's say we'll run this on a one hour chart let's say 24 hours so 24 and then uh, MA shift is 0 uh, MA method is mode I think it's mode open oh mode sure exponential moving average and applied price price open I like using the open price because then I can use the current the currently open bar in the calculation and shift zero okay so we now have a moving average so now we say uh, if bid is greater than moving average right then we say signal equals signal by signal okay and then here we'll say if ask is less than moving average then signal is a sell signal 
and this guy returns a signal and if you notice that's all there is to this EA all of the functionality is inside of there this TMF basic EA in fact I'm gonna open that up right now so you can see it nope that's not the one open and that guy has all kinds of or not actually he doesn't have a whole lot either he just basically sends a command to um, this library and then that command uh, is interpreted by the TMF trade manager that's right I forgot about that and I wrote it <laughs> um, so find entry signal that's all that you need to do you return buy signal or sell signal or zero if there's nothing buy signal if it's time to buy sell signal if it's time to sell and then the 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 rest of the logic that's been written by me will take care of everything for you so I'm gonna compile this alright now it's compiled so now if I go to my trading platform I should see in the common tab on the navigator under expert advisors I should see my first TMF EA alright so let's go back to the EA and I'm gonna do something here um, let's see uh, define your EA input here so I say input uh, int uh, sample period right and then I'll default it to 24 okay and then over here where I have the 24 I say sample period alright so now what I just did was I defined a variable that you can define at runtime for the sampling period for of the moving average right so I'm gonna compile that okay and we're gonna go back to the trading platform let me open a euro dollar chart one hour okay and then I'm going to go to my my first TMF EA drag it onto the chart and let's do the normal stuff allow live trading allow DLL imports all of that stuff needs to be on okay and then inputs you'll see sample period and I have it at 24 let's leave it at 24 and then when I say OK ooh, I should probably turn this off hang on I'm going to turn this guy off but uh, okay so now if I go drag this guy onto the chart sampling period 24 hit OK boom I've got the EA on the chart and oh great it's still <laughs> it sends commands anyway um, oh there's something I forgot to do let me do something here uh, it this the way it's written right here this thing's going to send a signal every time it goes through every time this function is called which is every tick right so what we have to do here is say uh, if if orders total which is a number of currently open orders is greater than zero uh, then we return zero because we don't want to send it we don't want to send a signal if there's already trades open for most for most things you don't want to do that sometimes you do want to do that if you want to write an EA that manages multiple open trades at once right let's put a little comment here just so that uh, make sure no trades are open already uh, okay send signal uh, if price uh, based on price relative to moving average there we go so now it looks like a real professional program <laughs> okay we compile that guy and 
uh, actually, when you recompile in the editor, it automatically reloads it in the um, in the terminal. But let me see if I've got anything going on here. Well, I've got a trade open. Well, that trade that trade has been open already. Was open when I uh, started making this video. So let me quickly do something here. Well, if I turn on auto trading now, it'll probably end up placing a trade because of uh, we had that signal generated by this guy. So this is this is the EA that we just wrote. Over here is the TMF Trade Manager, and TMF Trade Manager is actually the one that's placing and managing the trades for you, and including for the EA that we just wrote. Right. So all this guy does is he. Why does he have a frowny face? I bet I know why. A lot of live trading. There. Um, so all that this guy does is he sends he sets a signal uh, internally here into the MetaTrader. This guy picks up the signal and says, "Oh, it's time to buy," or "Oh, it's time to sell," and it places the sell or buy trade, and then uh, manages that trade. Oh, look at there! Trade just closed. So now. I'm going to sell. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, and then this guy... I guess if we put a moving average on the chart... Let's see. How do I do that? Moving average... No, it's under trend. Moving average... 24. Red, sure. Alright, so that should have uh, sent a buy signal to the to TMF Trade Manager. But, well, I placed a trade, so it's not going to do anything. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much how, how you do it. You, you make a copy of this guy, where is it, of TMF Sample Blank Template. You rename it. You fill in the guts of this function here, this find entry signal. You compile, and then you can put it on your chart. It's that simple. Um, if you want to do more advanced things, I'll talk about that in a in a future video for advanced uh, coding techniques and stuff, and for back testing and all that stuff. Um, other than that, uh, there's not much more to do other except for put the EA on your chart and and watch it go and I uh, just thought I'd show you how easy it is to do that and thanks for watching and I hope that uh, hope that you subscribe to my channel and I um, hope to see you in the next video thanks All right, you are a ghost.